Not I. Not anyone else can travel that road for you. You must travel it for yourself. It is not far. It is within reach. Perhaps you have been on it since you were born and did not know. Perhaps it is everywhere, on water and on land. That was a poem titled Song of Myself by Walt Whitman. Hey everyone, this is Don from Only SP. Today we're going to be taking a look at Zero North, Zero West. Before we embark on this journey, I must warn those of you who are sensitive to bright and flashing lights to steer clear of this voyage. This game throws a data mosh of colors and geometrical patterns at you harder than Ahab threw the harpoon at Moby Dick. And with that, we're off. Zero North Zero West comes to us from developers Color Fiction, based out of Connecticut. They describe themselves as having a diverse, ample background of Boolean and resonating wave shaping in trimensional space. Color Fiction enjoys investigating the interstitial zone between art and technology via the creation of visual auditory software. I think this description of them as a team fully manifests itself within the game. We have randomly generated levels that you can either find a way in into another, or once you're finally done, just go back to a different multi-door dimension to start your next journey. I played the game for three hours before I even realized I had a purpose in it doing this video. To say I was mesmerized would be a disservice to how captivated I truly was playing this game. The team have done a great job of trying to make us rethink what a video game is and how video games themselves are art. Almost always, video games have centered around a linear model, but the story is based off of us, the player, figuring out and unlocking different details to advance the plot. But this? This is different. There is no plot except us. We are the plot. There isn't even really a story. There is just our time and what we make out of it and our experiences within the game. The story is created by whatever we want to get out of it. I think I can speak for a lot of gamers when I say that video games are art, but I for one always had their interpretation wrong. I thought there was art within the game. The level designs, the scenery, the advancement of the story, but that doesn't necessarily make the game itself art. Zero North Zero West breaks down that barrier. It is itself a piece of art because it makes us think. Not about how many trees I have to cut down to get enough lumber to build a house, but on a deeper plane. I can't tell you what you'll think when you play. That's for you to decide. What I can tell you is I climbed a circular stairway for 15 minutes because the ocean noises in the background made me reminisce of my childhood growing up near the beach. I didn't even care there was no ending to it. I was just soothed and the climb itself was a fulfilling journey. I will say there is a door at the top, but I finally gave up because I kept falling to the bottom. And I think that's one of the beauties of the game. You create the story, so if you're bored with it, you just stop and find a new place. You don't have to worry about getting stuck at a specific checkpoint or a boss. You just keep going and going until you get what you want out of it. It's what makes it so easy to get lost within this world. The game is meant to tackle your senses in a way that they haven't been tackled before, not like any other regular video game, that is. As you've seen, in between the randomly generated levels, you're blasted by an auditory and visual stimulations. Think of this as a cleanse of your palate, almost like ginger in between different kinds of sushi. What's created here is a sense of relaxation that immerses you deeper and deeper the more time you spend within the game. You don't have to worry about being on your toes or creating any kind of pressure for you to play. Just jump in and be ready to traverse the data sphere of lights, sounds, and colors until you have to stop. The creativity environments are there for you to check out. You just have to open the door to find it. Thanks everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Follow me on Twitter at Ashley Pastrami and keep checking out Only SP for continual single player content. Until the next time my dudes.